Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I already recorded this intro. In fact, I already recorded, well, not a lot of the Great Plateau, but a, a good part of it. I'm gonna just tell you right now what I've done, well, what I've done and subsequently reverted, uh, loaded an earlier save, because for some reason, while I was recording, Windows just decided to restart. I've never seen that. I'm not on Windows 11. I'm on Windows 10. My settings all reflected that I was not allowing Windows to do that, but it decided to do that anyway. I love Windows. Microsoft is amazing. So, that unfortunately has robbed me of some of the reactions that are going to be, uh, well, that were actually pretty good in the, in the previous recording, uh, including one over there, but alas, it's been spoiled, so we're gonna make the best of it and try to speedrun, really, <laughs> speedrun to the parts that are still blind. And while I talk about that, I wanna talk about speedrunning. I don't normally go back, well, I, I guess I'm gonna talk about a couple things and it's gonna lead to speedrunning. For a second, I thought that that stopped the jelly from spawning and I was legit shocked. Uh, so this is something I already know, unfortunately. Um, I need these eyes, and if I drop them into the chasms, they will be waiting for me when I, I jump down there. So, that's... Although I don't know why my quest didn't update... There we go. Uh, I, I would back... I don't normally do this when it comes to uh, Breath of the Wild and, and r looking up uh, my first experience with areas that I am now encountering in Tears of the, Ki Tears of the Kingdom. But I decided to do it for Breath of the Wild. Um, it's it's just an important area, and I think it's one of the biggest questions that most people have when playing the game, uh, when leaving the Great Sky Island, is okay. What what was the first? What happened to the first starting area? How is it different? And so we all have this a little bit of mystique um, towards this area, and rightfully so. I I feel this. <clears throat> This is the most magical part of Breath of the Wild, where we're not sure what what timeline we're in, where we have no idea what's happening. And returning to this, uh, returning to those videos, um, yielded a little bit of lore that I, I hadn't remembered. Uh, the King of Hyrule states that that uh, the Temple of Time is the birthplace of the Kingdom of Hyrule, and I'm a little bit perplexed by that because so far Zelda hasn't, or Zelda's flashbacks, or Memories, I, I don't even know what to call them, glimpses, we're gonna call them glimpses. Uh, didn't really um, bear any importance to the Temple of Time, and for that fact, there aren't any glyphs around, at least that we found yet. Although I, I guess there is one over there, so that one could be it. That could be the reflection uh, of Zelda and Ro- not Rome. Raru? And Lilia, or whatever her name is, to- um, to that that founding important moment, but in Breath of the Wild, I kind of interpreted it as uh, making a reference or an allusion to uh, Skyward Sword, but I don't know anymore. Uh, I built this in between recording sessions, but then I lost that data, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for for King Country and Cletus. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Goodbye. Get over there. Get back in there. <laughs> Get back in the, the rave cave. It's not a cave. Get back in the disco. Prepare to panic. Unfortunately, this doesn't push him. This is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's over. Disappointment. Fine. I'll just kill you guys the normal way, which is... Oh, never mind. Never mind. There's a new normal in town. It's called... D d d d die. That That's what I'm calling it. You, sir, should probably not get back up because you need to save energy for your death. That makes no sense. Look at all these, these goodies. The goodies. 
courtesy of the new Night Laser. I need to use Rejuice Lightning a little bit more than I do. It's... I feel like I could probably talk about this at this point, but I'm not a huge fan of Riju. Uh, and I... I get what they're trying to do, but the fact that she's a melee character that you have to walk up to in order to activate and then use a ranged weapon means you have to run into combat, activate her, run back out, and then shoot. And it, I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like how Riju ends up playing out. And it's it's sad because I, I like Riju. She was the first companion. But, I mean, if you look at the, the, the stuff that... Um, Tengu, um, uh, Jim Bob, what, what's his face? It, it, him, Telma. <laughs> if you look at what he does, you really don't even have to think about it. He just has homing arrows that headshot every time and are kind of ridiculous. And then he has out of combat utility. So like, there's no, there's no contest. What is his name? Hold on. <laughs> he is Tulin. I was actually kind of close with both Tengu and Telma. Although Telma is twice the man, and by that I mean woman, that he is. I have two very good reasons for saying that. Uh, there's a Korok over here. I didn't do this. I'm actually probably going to be doing this in a different order than I did it the last time. Uh, last time, in the failed recording session, the one that Windows deleted, uh, I, I went... I went about this clockwise, but I think I'm gonna go about this counterclockwise. This ah, uh, maybe I don't, cause I'm trying to think of thumbnails, and there's a good one. So you know what? I'm just gonna get the spoilery stuff out of the way, which means I need to go back. I know it's awkward, but just just trust me on this. It was organic. It happened. I did it slightly differently than I did it before. Look at Telma's wind. <laughs> oh. So, I actually, I never saw this person. This is new. This is cool. I like this. Hello. Who are you? You know, I had thought, I'd wondered if these were all the same guy, but they're clearly not. Is this a cult? Is this like the anti-Giga clan? I like his stained glass bell. That's very cool. I can see it. I can taste it. You there. I, I see the shadow of death upon your face. Me, I'm a fashion fortune teller. Please, allow me to give you a reading. Please. Now, if I may be so bold, looking at your outfit, yes, yes, I see. You are, hmm, yes, you are burdened with a mission of monumental importance. I sense some sort of nobility, a swordsman serving a princess, and you use your power to crush the weak. To serve evil- what? <laughs> See, my fortune telling never fails. If you want to repay me, I'll take your life, your head. That's what I meant. I'll take your head. Have we seen a Yiga impersonate one of these people before? <sighs> I... Yeah, come on. He has to do his little dance. And then I poke him with my stick, and he's dead. That was a lot of work for that. You know what? From the from this point on, I'm just gonna start aggroing these fools. I'm just gonna run at them. I'm gonna not wait for them because I don't. I actually think I could probably get away with that. I don't think that they next Yiga I find, which I know I will find one. I apologize for knowing that, but I do. Windows, I hate you. I hate you so much. When are we going to get a good operating system? You know, like when are we going to get one that actually really cares about its users, about stability? Are we, is it just never going to happen? Where is this man? There was a guy over here. Is he over here? Where's the guy? You know, this seems like a Phantom Ganon encounter. No, no Phantom Ganon. Just my followers killing bats. Kill him! Shoot him! Get him! Thank you! I will reap the rewards. Nice attack. You almost got me. Oh, a tree fell down. 
Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Haha. -ha. I completely forgot about this. Until I was watching, you know, I was editing one of my episodes and not that, not that, not that. Where is it? I totally forgot that that's a thing. And I need to use that every single time because it's kind of busted. The only thing that it doesn't do or it that makes it worse than like attacking is the fact that you then have to, uh, you don't get their weapons or their arms or whatever. Ah! You know, there was a person over here, but maybe they just show up during the day. Oh wait, no, 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 they're there. Oh, they just walk around. Hi, buddy. Why does this, this area, I just suddenly got uh, Super Mario Sunshine vibes from this with that one level where you have to walk around the grass and do a bunch of stuff and get red coins and like kill birds. Excuse me, I've heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important I give it a wide berth. I'm pregnant. Do you know of the Yiga clan or this nefarious branch of theirs? I'm familiar for not, not for the reasons you think. What luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still, I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right there and I'll take your head. I didn't know he was going to say that, but I, it's, it's a clan. Oh, oh, strategy. Die. Oh, 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 wait, no, the hubris. <laughs> Get away from him. Bye. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was good. That's not the guy that I talked to originally, though. There's a guy around here that he's like, oh, would you like to look at this thing? And I go, yeah, I'd like to look at, at your thing. Show me your thing, dog. And then he goes, hmm, uh, you want to look closer? And I go, yeah, I want to look closer. And then he finally he just goes, okay, well, uh, and I'm going to, I'm a Yig clan and I'm a, I'm going to kill you with my powers and then I was disappointed because a hundred percent of the population you either you either die a commoner or live long enough to see yourself become the Yiga and then you die anyway that's that's really the moral of this game also originally when I was here I threw mushrooms in here and then I threw apples and then I felt like an idiot and I you know put bananas in here because of course what else would I put the funny part is, is it took me like 35 minutes to get here, and now we're at minute 18. Uh, let's get away from that pitchfork. And originally, I did... Let's see if I can make this jump again. Yep. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Bananas. Can I see through this, this little hole? Oh, snap. Oh, that's cool. I never got to do that before. I never thought to. I, I didn't think it was a hole. I thought it was like a, a doorknob. That's so cool. Can we see anything else in there? Because there is something else to see. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's, an, that's attention to detail right there. I am actually legit. Come on. Come on. Wait, you, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I have a camera. Does this work? Oh, it does. Yes! Look at that! That's awesome! Come on. That is so cool. Like, I am legitimately kind of impressed by this. And I, I'm trying to frame it up. I mean, who am I kidding? I, I know what the shot is that I'm going to be getting in this episode, but... Yeah, soap shoes. There we go, there we go. I had it, I had it, I had it. There we are. That's the money shot right there. The money shot that I'm not going to be using. But still, I, I like that moment. That's cool. I might I might use that as as the thumbnail. I there's a better thumbnail. Who's there? Wait, you your link! I thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well No! You're not going to do that! Ow! <laughs> he hit me with his sword! That's not fair! Did you get Ow! He's hitting me with a sword. Please hit him back with your powers. I want to kill that one. Oh, you're attacking him. Huh. 
Oh, look at me jump over his attack. That was cool. That was so cool. Don't kill me. I'm going to drop this thing. Pick up the sword. Oh, that one is lightning as well. Metal. Okay, we're good. Huh. Now I'm curious. Does she change? Is she still... No, she's still doing her thing. Let me go. When I first was here, before Windows ruined my life, I gave this this man a woman's voice. I'm rectifying this. I'm working as fast as I can. Please, just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them. You chased off- uh, sorry. You chased off the Yika clan. I, you mean, I can get out of here. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Hmm. I don't want this mask I made to fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Say, would you like to take this? You have no choice in the matter. Here you go. That thing is decidedly not my style, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful with a fashion sense that rivals my own. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think. Maybe. She might actually be dead. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now, I hope you find someone to love too. Not likely. Chances are probably zero. But you know. Whatever. And unfortunately, one of the best reactions of last episode was me... Re or last recording, the failed recording session, was me realizing what this means, what this is. We got a quest in the Gerudo region at that. Where we were asked to find all three pieces of the Yiga Clan set and return. It would give us get us access into the Yiga Clan base. This is the first piece. Which means... If I go up there, which is actually very close to where we've explored, I, I'm kind of tempted to do the quest, which, yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we will, we will do the quest. That means there is a, a piece there, and a piece on essentially the equivalent of main. And so we know where this is. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to forget, but, you know, also I can take this down because this was from last, or that was from a minigame. Oh, and I actually missed this entirely. I'm going to get up on their table to read it. Uh, ma mainly because this is what right side up looks- Oh, it's not, actually, because they have their symbols upside down. Read the Yiga Clan journal? Yes, of course. Yiga- the Yiga Bulletin. Confidential updates from the hideout. Item 1. Our research division has developed new vehicles. The Gloom Dredger and the Hoverdoom Mark III! If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2. It is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. Addendum. The earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. <gasps> Do we get that? Oh, please tell me we get that. That would be so cool, but not likely. Is that the reward for the- that has to be the reward. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is- this was the thumbnail. I just thought this was perfect. And so, I'm going to take a picture again so that, in editing, I can decide whether or not that becomes the thumbnail. Because I am a photographer, dang it!